Good morning, everyone. We're hanging out with our friends at Wolfpack Chorus, a brand spanking new restaurant that's doing really, really good. Chris, you're not new to the business. You've worked at several places. You worked in Las Vegas. You've worked here. You've worked in Arizona. So thank you for bringing your culinary skills back home. No, I love I love being home. Cleveland is always home, and uh, you know it was always a plan to come back and, yeah. and, and you know bring what I bring what I've learned out there and bring it bring it home. Full circle. Now this is a popular dish you're going to make for us. It, it is a yeah. So this is a pan beignet. So okay. um, you know it is a you know a really super fancy French um, tuna you know tuna salad. Okay. Um, you know there's uh, you know no no hiding it. It is but it is delicious. You know one of the things that does it for us. Is that we use, you know, a really high quality uh, uh, tuna. It's 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 Spanish. Um, mm. it's, it is canned. It is it is uh, flown in, but it is uh, super high quality. It's gotcha. not. Um, it is not your everyday you know, tuna. It's packed in olive oil. Um, it's super, you know, uh, fresh. It tastes like you know, tastes like being in the ocean. Oh, love it. Um, okay. You know, we pair that with a. Um, a niçoise style salad, which is olive and caper and anchovy, which I started on my board here. Mm -hmm. um, and we add a little bit of uh, chopped egg chopped here. Chopped egg, gotcha. And we like to... Fresh tomato. Fresh tomato. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, we, we, a little bit of arugula. We dress with a little bit of um, our Dijon uh, sherry vinaigrette, just to give it a little bit of, uh, wow. you know, a little bit more uh, flavor. Mm -hmm. And put that on there. Look at that. You know, we don't add, you know, a big thing, you know, to our tuna is we don't add any mayonnaise. We don't add any additional salt. So um, from what I'm hearing, just you say little, you don't need to. You don't need to. Yeah. It it's, uh, has a little bit of olive oil, so it has the fat. We chop a little bit of chive and parsley in there. Okay. And, um, and that is, uh, and it, you know, we want that tuna to shine. Uh, a little bit of seasoned fresh tomato. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in our niçoise mix, you know, one of our secret, you know, kind of ingredients is that we add a little bit of um, jardinera, which we make in house. Okay. Um, it is a you know a pickled condiment, so it lends well to the olives, but it kind of gives it a little bit of spice and mm. also a little bit more. Um, mm. You know, a, a little unique flavor gotcha. um, from the oregano and the cauliflower and the chili peppers. All right. You know, well, as uh, Chris puts the finishing touches on this, this, this is popular for your brunch. This oh, is yeah. uh, very popular. One of the popular dishes. Look at that. A little a beignet. A, a Chris twists on the beignet and tuna. Oh, my goodness. Wolfpack course right here in Little Italy. We're having a great time. When we come back, what are you going to make, Chris? Uh, we're doing our pot of few. It is our braised short rib. Um, and uh, we have a little twist on that as well okay. that we do. Excellent. All right. Um, it, as another part of an urban legend, someone here on your staff has a pineapple tattoo. That's all I'm saying. Dun, 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 dun. All right. When we come back. You see the pineapple. You see the pineapple. Yeah. Um, did you find it, Christy? It. Like, did you find it? Yes, I got it. It's right above the chef's oh. head. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, it's it's in this shot someplace. It's, it's in, in the shot. I, mean, now I see it now. I'm going to start skipping yeah, my it. bathroom breaks just for this. This is a fun part of this, this <laughs> segment, right? Okay.